Hey guys, welcome back to Snake Limited. Do I have something really cool to show you guys today? Um, so my Brazilian Rainbow Boa Mini, and she's called Mini because she has sort of like the Mini Mickey logo on her back, uh, the, head, the head and the two mouse ears. I've had her for probably about five years at this point. I've raised her up since she was a tiny little baby. Um, she was actually one of the first pet snakes I bought outside of ball pythons. Well, when I started getting back into the snake hobby a few, you know, five years ago, she finally had her litter of babies. Now, I assumed she was pregnant because she looked like she was ovulating all the way back in February. Um, I was having a hard time finding information about Brazilian rainbow boas and um, the breeding process, but she was with the male that I had for oh, quite a while. Um, well, here you go. This is what I came down to today. So I'm actually gonna get mom out of there pretty shortly, just to make sure that, I, I've heard that it's possible they can start to eat the babies, but man, this litter of rainbow bows is huge. Now, the cool thing about rainbow bows, and I guess most bows in general, is they don't lay eggs. They actually incubate the eggs internally in their bodies and they, and they are live bearers. So as you can see here, we just have a big goopy mess inside of this tub. And this little escapee, right here. Now mom is, there's a little baby here. They're super long, those babies. Now mom uh, has had a very good temperament her whole life, never even bitey as a baby. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that that translates here to what her little neonates here are gonna act like as well. But there's a ton in here. So what I need to do is get mom out and I'm gonna get her into this clean tub over here and then I'm gonna make sure all these babies are okay, get them into a clean, uh, probably a 10 series tub, and have them sit in there until they shed out, and then I'll have to separate them as well. But man, this is a really cool surprise to come down to today. Um, this is really, really exciting. All right, I moved mom out, and I'm gonna move the babies, neonates, into a clean tub here, kind of like I do with ball pythons, where you just have a paper towel, and it's just wet um, just so they can get their first shed and get all the goop off of them. Um, some of them are getting bitey already, which is, I guess, typical rainbow bows when they're babies. Um, and some of them are actually still in the egg sacs, so I'm probably going to end up breaking those open to get them out. And then I'm going to move them all over in here and we'll count them as we go along here. And I'm expecting to get quite a few, quite a few nibbles on the way, so... All right, there's one. The crazy thing, you know, between breeding these and ball pythons is these are so much longer. And thinner. So let's count as we go. See how many we have. There's two so far. They don't like to stay still, so we're gonna have we're gonna have some jailbreaks going on here. We're gonna, all right. It is a complete disaster over here in this other tub, so. There's two, or three, so I can't explain to you how messy it is in here <laughs> right now. Especially where all the babies are in the middle still. There's four. And it's kind of neat to see them in here with all this other stuff too, so you can actually see like all the differences in their, kind of their patterns and the colors, you know, some already look a little more red than the other ones. Oops, slippery, I can't even pick them up. There's five. I'm trying to get the ones that are already um, out of the egg sacs. There's six. Oop, I'm taking, we take them bites here pretty soon because they're all starting to get. Let me get them all out here. It's a bit easier this way. What all we're doing because they're all getting bitey. This one here, it's already trying to eat my finger. What is it, seven? Seven. Except oh, for the one that came back. Coming back. Nope, buddy. This is your house. This is your new home for a week or two. Seven. Eight. There's a bite. Nine. 
when one bites, they all start biting, which is the funny part. So that's ten. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get some of these ones that are out of the egg sacs. As you can see, big slimy mess. Big slimy mess. <laughs> you can't even grab them because they're so slippery. Well, that one's getting out, John. Yeah, start. It's going to be harder than I thought. Was that 10 or 11? Uh, I think 11. All right, well, that's the all, the all the loose ones. Let's get these ones that are still. Actually, make sure they're not hiding in here because they do that too. I don't think there's any. Oh, yes, there is. Look right here. Oh my goodness. There's a... She's going back in the goop. Ow! Shit! <laughs> that hurt. It's sharp She's little teeth. still on your glove. Uh, oh sharp goodness. little teeth. <laughs> she went right through the glove. Not that I expected this to help me, but I was just doing it to keep my hands clean. Yeah, they got sharp teeth for little babies. So that was 12. I think. Moody little things. Yep. Take another bite. Thirteen. They're fast too. Yeah. Fourteen. Get in there, little butts. <laughs> what was that I say fourteen? Yeah. It's crazy they come out with such a bad attitude. I guess that's a defensive thing, but man, ball pythons are not like that. Am I at 15? Mm -hmm. I keep losing track. There's yeah. just so many. 15. As I'm, you know, this is not my blood, but <laughs> that's how just messy it is in here. And I'll show you the mess after I actually get the rest of them out. But there's also a lot of them still. I can see their little heads hiding underneath all the, all the cocoa. So there's actually a lot more in here than I thought. I think this is 16. Oh, I can't even hold it. There's a slippery. 16. I think. Whatever. I mean, I'm going to have a lot of rainbow bows. If everybody... I'm not even planning on keeping these. I just wanted to see what it was like to breed a boa. Um, so I wasn't even planning on keeping any of these because I actually was just going to keep the mom. Obviously, because he's my, my little baby. My pet baby. But... Uh... <laughs> Gosh. A lot of rainbow bows. I'm going to get in here a little bit. Like, look how, like, just, like, how much disaster there is in here. Just disaster. What is it, 17? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Ooh, 17. This one's coming out. You can try to get, like, as I'm pulling them out of there. Was that seven? This is 18? 18. 18. Look, this one's still in the egg sac. He's trying to poke his head out. I don't know if you can see that. How well it's going to come in. It's kind of neat to watch that happen, you know? Because you never <laughs> you never see that with a ball python. This, look at this one here. He's trying, to eat, my, he's trying to eat my face. I can't believe how sharp their teeth are. I mean, I've, I've never taken a bite from a ball python coming out of an egg. Um... And I've already had six of these try to eat my face off, and their teeth are freaking sharp. It went right through the glove. I have one's hiding over there. Yeah, because yeah. it's moving. Look, watch this guy. <clears throat> I'm watching. Yeah, that's that. look at him. He's got some attitude. Let's see this guy hiding. Oh, I see your face right there, bro. Oh, there's two. <clears throat> oh my Ooh. god. Oh. I guess I'm just wow. taking. I guess I'm just taking these bites, right? I guess. Oh my gosh, John. <laughs> I guess I'm just taking them. This one's actually really pretty. It's like it's more of a pink color. Maybe I keep one. You know, like if there's like a one that stands out a little more than the other ones. What was that, 18? I forget. I was kind of got nervous. <laughs> um, but they, uh, I, I really don't know what the genetics were of the male or the female. The the male I got as a, he was listed as a captive bred, um, just a male, just generic male. He's actually really dark in color. And the female was was high red, um, but again, I didn't have any like lineage info 
on her. So I don't know, you know, specifically what she was either, but you know, there's obviously a difference in color. That one again. Is I know, he's, he's got my name. This guy right here. He wants to bite John. Come on. So, you know, hopefully, I don't, I don't know if they fire up after a shed or two, because some of these aren't, definitely aren't as bright as what mom was. Is this 20? I think. I really keep losing count. 20. I'll have to rewatch watch the video. This, watch this guy. Oh my gosh. You wonder why I'm afraid. Yeah, these, I mean, they don't hurt. It's just sharp. It's like getting stuck by a tack or something. Come on. Come on. Eat. Eat me. I guess it's not going to be hard to feed them, right? I know you're going to grab the back of my hand, aren't you? Hey, look, he's still got all the crap stuff, do <laughs> Um, So, the one issue, uh, Brazilian rainbow bows are, are easy to keep, in my opinion, as adults. Uh, the bigger issue with them when they're younger, why they don't thrive, is their humidity levels need to be pretty high. So you need to make sure they have a humid hide that's very humid. Um, to make sure they thrive. That's usually, I think, people's biggest issues with, in terms of um, husbandry when they're younger. But I mean, they're <laughs> easy to keep as they're older and they become big, beautiful snakes. And they typically have good temperaments when they're older. It's just, they're, they're notorious for being very, very bitey when they're young. And it's, you know, keep them safe. Keep them safe from predators if they're always lashing out and trying to bite somebody's face off. He's going, escapee. <laughs> In there. And that's 21 ish, right? Ish. Sorry. 20. Here, let's see. This one here is still in the egg sac, so let's see if we can either get it to come out or pop it. Watch them right here. Let's see if I can kind of coerce them out of there. See, I just assumed they'd all come out uh, like as soon as they're born, that they just. There's one head under here. I can see his little head. Mm -hmm. Multiple. No, just no. No, Mr. Bitey. You're trying to eat me. Alright. I don't know. How many is that? I don't think twenty two. I don't know. Watch this. Come let's see if the Ooh. Exact actually yeah, breaks. Sorry, I didn't get it. Could get underneath me. Don't, don't, no. Oh. Keep it up like that. Just go underneath the. <laughs> so look at, the... Watch this as it, as it breaks. As it all comes off. Look at all that. Yeah. There you go. Get all the mess coming off. <laughs> look, there you go. He's coming out. Look at that. Oh, man. Look at that. Alright, help, help him get out of the egg. Mm -hmm. What is that, 2000 I have? Yeah, something like that. Man, they're going to be a pain in the butt to separate later after they all shed. Um, let's see what else is out here. I'm glad I had this in a tub to happen rather than in an actual like a four by two aquarium because that would have been a disaster having to clean oh, that. He's coming out. Uh, can you guys go in the back? <laughs> no, Ooh. get in there. Toys gonna be careful closing the tubs. Um, but yeah, I'm glad this is in a <laughs> in a uh, in a bin because all I have to do is dump out everything into a garbage can and then rinse it off in a. Uh... Oh, man, these guys are not the back. Go in the back. Go in the back. What's that? Get in there. So, it'll make cleanup a thousand times easier. Now I don't have to actually, uh, you know, scrub down a big 4x2 enclosure. There's only three left in here. What, what am I, do you, do you even know like, what I'm close to? 25. <laughs> 25. I'm somewhere north of 25. I know I have at least 25 in here. I know. What are you trying to bite? Nothing there. This one tried to bite. It just came out of its egg sack trying to eat me. Nope. Just get in there. Alright, 
so I think there's only two left. So I got, she, this is her first time ever breeding. I got her as a, not a hatchling, she was probably about six months old when I got her. Relatively small, because they grow a little slower than ball pythons do. Um, these two are still in there. Eggs. How long did you have her? She's probably five. So I got her when she was about six months. I think I got her in 2019. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she was about five years old. Um, she was one of the first snakes I got after starting to get the ball pythons. So I've raised her up since a baby, so it's kind of neat to watch her grow. Now this one's completely still in the egg sac, so... Let's see. Oop, there we go, I popped it. Ooh, look at that, it's like a big, oh just a, just like a sheath, I guess. The way it works. Wow. Look at that on my hand. <laughs> A little off of there. Looks like he wasn't ready to come out all the way. So I'm gonna actually, I'm not gonna pull on this. I'm gonna let it just kind of. I'm gonna put him into the um, other tub like that. It's kind of stuck on there, so I'm just gonna let him let it come off naturally up over in here. Gonna escape these. It's funny when they bite, they all bite. When one bites, they all bite. So let's see. This is what they talk about with this mess. It's just like thick, disgusting, gelatinous goo. Um, make sure there's no more hiding ones in here. I don't think there are. You gotta check because there are some that I didn't think were in there <laughs> before, and they were. Hiding in there pretty good. Actually, this cocoa might be nice to help it soak up some of this. Some of this, it's not eggs. I don't want to say egg. Juice is my little part. Egg juice. <laughs> All right, that's it. So let me open that tub real quick to kind of just show you guys what what we're working with in here. Let me actually use the dry my gloves off, so I'm not keeping touching everything. That's all gooey. There we go. All right, so these are the ones you can all visibly see. <laughs> so I'm gonna have, you know, 25 plus rainbow boas, Brazilian rainbow boas, captive bred. Um, so that's a plus, they're not, a, they're not wild caught. We're all captive bred here. They're captive bred and born. Um, so yeah, that's- Are they uh, under that too? Uh, they're everywhere. Yeah. They're just, this is, this is gonna be, they're gonna be, they unfortunately, Taking up going? a lot of my snake racks, so. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how fast. one's going out the front. There he goes. Oh, too quick for that. All right, put them away. <laughs> All right, so they're obviously going to be a handful for me. Um, there's a lot of them in there. I'm going to have a lot of them. I'm probably, if I keep any, it's going to be maybe one. Um, just to see if there's like one in there that has a really cool lineage that I could keep or that has a little more red. But more than likely, I might just get rid of all of them because I have enough ball pythons to deal with as it is. This is sort of like a, uh, sort of like a cool little side project. But I'm excited that it finally um, that it finally happened. I was waiting for mom for a while to have that litter. Like I said, she, the last time she shed was February 26th, and today is July 17th. So that's a long wait. Um, five months from when I thought she was going to actually have that litter. Um, but I'm really excited. It's a really cool kind of side project and, um, you know, keep a lookout on Morph Market. I would assume sometime mid-August when I will be letting these guys go. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time.